Hello, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, how to uh, practice for interviewing for roles that require you to know Unix. Oftentimes, I hear from people who are in support roles or other roles who wants to, who wants to get in into DevOps. And the first thing that you really have to really have to make sure that you know is Linux or Unix skills. So I put together a list of 101 interview questions, practicing interview questions that I've been asked in my life, and I've asked other people, uh, some of them, um, so that that so, so that it helps other people practicing answering questions for Unix, uh, especially for junior uh, people. Um, I will leave a link to this repo in in the in down below, so you, you know you know how to get there. Again, for almost any interview topics, you start out with the answer to this following question. What have you done with X? So when you're preparing for Unix, you need to know how to tell your interviewer what have you done because it forces you to summarize, forces you to remember, forces you to put some context around your own background in, for this particular topic. And this could happen to be Unix. So let's take a look at um, some of the random questions here. So let's just go down here. So let's see one, um, number 11. What command can you use to see all the network connections on an Unix virtual machine? A very common thing we do is all the time when people were in DevOps, they were always looking for connections. What machines are connecting? Are they connecting? If they're connecting, are there too many connections? And so on and so forth. What are the state of those connections? All of those you can get through netstat minus A. So that's one example of a real life thing that people might ask you about. What is a parent process versus child process? So in Unix, everything is a process. So um, one process can start another one. And the, the one that starts the process is a parent process. A lot of times you can kill a process. Let's say if you kill a parent process and the child process still exists, then it becomes a zombie process. Uh, so on and so forth. So just basic concept from Unix that you need to know. You need to demonstrate that you know how to um, get around in Unix. Let's uh, pick another one. <clears throat> Which init level powers down the Unix VM? In Unix machines, um, there are power levels. So uh, back in the day when you had to troubleshoot a machine in, in Windows, that you have the safe, um, something called safe, whatever. Uh, in Unix, you had you had a single user mode. So only root can log in and fix things. So other people at that point cannot log in. That's an, a init level. So there are six different init levels. You need to know what they are so you can explain to the interviewer that you understand how different levels of init levels that Unix machines can be in depending on the situation. Uh, let's pick another one. Which command can you use to copy a file? Very simple command, but extremely simple question that you must know uh, if you're going to be if you're going to convince the interviewer that you know your Unix. In a way, here's the repo repo for uh, with 100 and such questions and answers. Uh, if you if we're practicing for an interview that requires Unix, this would be useful. I hope you you found this uh, video useful. If it, if you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, that helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you next time.